everyone, this is Brittany Bond, and welcome back to the podcast. Today I'm going to talk about <laughs> what's happening with me rec- recently and give you a little life update. And also, I feel that I am tapping into the collective consciousness um, a bit here on where we are all going. So this is going to be focused more on community and yeah, how I feel in my body right now and the vision of what I want to create in the world. So if you know me, if you've been following my podcast, you'll know that my background is all about community building. I come from an environment where I was raised in a pretty deep community. It was just also happened to be a cult. <laughs> uh, but this showed me that my choice of how I like to live my life and how I choose to live my life is deeply connected to myself, nature, and the people that I love, my community. I call it my soul tribe. <clears throat> and a lot of my life journey has been about building that soul tribe, about finding that soul tribe, and then figuring out what exactly what exactly is a community that is nourishing for me and for my soul and my heart and body, mind, spirit, all of it, you know? And, you know, I, I was on Koh Phangan, Thailand, this beautiful island for three and a half years during lockdown. And it was a really beautiful moment in time because people could leave the island, but no one could come to the island. So everyone was there. We really dropped in as a tribe. It was like, even if you didn't, know people personally you knew them as your community and you always had this kind of feeling of like connection everywhere you went on the island and it was a very it's a very small island so it was really beautiful and I had a community I have a community space there where we did many events and initiatives um and the goal that I had was like what would it take to fully support a community like a new earth community people who wanted to grow our own food but also wanted to integrate tech like most of us worked online and take all the beautiful things from the old world and make something new something that is more nourishing for us like go back to nature but also bring tech with us uh, and make it the best of both and then COVID ended and Uh, A lot of people left and a lot of tourists came and the Thai people were building the island and really destroying the island in a lot of ways. It feels like it's going towards how Bali is, what happened in Bali, Um, which is just not protecting the nature and um, not being sustainable in the way that we interact with Mother Earth. And it really hurt my heart because I was like, I felt like I was breaking up with Koh Phan Yang, like as like... I was just like, this is it. This is the forever place. Like, everyone come here. And then I was like, okay, for a lot of people, like, I still love Koh Phangan. It's where my dog is, Afro, and um, a lot of my close friends that I care about, people I consider part of my soul tribe. And I realized, like, for a lot of people in the world, it's it's a little too far. Like, Koh Phangan is, like, you know literally a different planet for a lot of people and I love that because it for me it is a lot of the new world vibration um but I kept feeling this calling to come to Europe and I was like you know I'm from California I'm not even from Europe but I was like I feel called to go to Europe and and then Faraday and I met we got together uh we combined lives and he's like I have a base in Berlin I own my place there I have a big community in Berlin like let's let's make this a base at least for the summers and so we came out to Berlin we're like full of energy he had such a great season in Berlin last summer with building uh, the community with meetups and retreats and parties and like play parties medicine plant medicine stuff lots of beautiful vibrations and people like waking up to the reality of existence and it felt like the tribe was building you know and then we got to Berlin and we were just like I feel like I'm doing it, you know, like organizing play parties, uh, building a beautiful sisterhood network there of women who are like really dropping into their bodies, waking up to the reality of our existence and connecting to each other. But then my body started to feel more constricted in the city. And I was like, I loved the events we were doing, but it was like all the in between of the events, which is like act- the actual beingness of like living in Berlin. And I was like, this is not nourishing for me and 
Uh, I'm going to Portugal next week for a festival with some of my best girlfriends. And we had this free week, like after we organized our last play party last Saturday. And we were just going to be in Berlin for the week. And I was like, why don't we go into nature? Like, why don't we go into like deep nature? And I kept hearing about this place called Ch Cheshire's Advice. I'm definitely saying that wrong. But it basically it means little Switzerland. It's on the, the border between um, Germany and Czech Republic, but it looks like Switzerland in nature. And if you're watching this visually, you can see behind me, we were joking earlier, that it looks like a green screen because it's so beautiful. But this is where we're camping. It's like got a little stream and um, so much amazing nature. It's a beautiful campsite. We rented a van and it has like a bed already inside and a fridge and a stove and a sink and a shower and it's just like everything's so easy and I'm like why didn't we do this sooner it's only a three hour drive from Berlin um and while we've been here we were like we took mushrooms the other day and I was I started crying a lot because I was like wow I really miss nature like on the island I was barefoot and every day Afro and I would go to a waterfall or the beach and I was just like so deeply connected to nature and a lot of my friends there are as well so our hanging out time is always connected to nature whereas in Berlin whenever I'd meet up with a friend and be like in a coffee shop or I would be the one that's like let's go to a park we go to a park and it wasn't like real nature you know there's like ambulances going by or you could just hear the sounds and the energy and feel the energy of the city um so for my nervous system it wasn't super calm and there's parts of me, you know, when Faraday got, and I got together, it's like we really woke up all the way. Like we each had pieces of the puzzle. And there's parts of us that say to each other, like, you know, why are we so awake right now? Like, what do we do with this information? Um, because I feel like if we weren't together, like each of us would fall back into um, stuff in the world that just to have this connection with other people or to keep ourselves busy because it's like, what do you do now? But when we took mushrooms the other day, I was like, we're, we found each other to remind each other of what's really important, you know, because in each of our ways, like the things that we were doing with other people or, um, you know, just keeping ourselves busy wasn't necessarily nourishing for us. And we remind each other a lot of what's important. And, and I was like, I'm so grateful that we came to nature. And this is something that we were reminding each other of. And I want to keep reminding each other of this. But then even when I'm here, like, so now we're here and we're able to think clearly. And this vision that keeps coming back to me over and over is building this like village with my people, with my soul tribe or having a base somewhere where people can come visit and really sink into this new earth vibration of like community, healthy lifestyle choices, connection to nature, and just being able to be our, be free and being our sensitive souls that are, you know, open and heart open and um, like psychically open. Like when I'm in the city, I have to close a lot of my energy field a lot because there's just so much, um, energies that I don't want to absorb into my body and so I have to like keep up my inner my energy blockage like protection field a lot and here in nature I don't have to do that you know I'm just like the nature absorbs all of my frequencies and is nourishing and gives it back in a really beautiful way and I feel so good here in my body and the download that Faraday and I got when we were mushrooms the other day was like we need to make sure that we are in a place that is really nourishing for us because we are always going to be building community. We're always going to be hosting people. We love doing that. We love being of service. We need to make sure that we are being recharged while we're doing that by nature. And so he keeps feeling super called to this place called Stubai, which is in Austria. Um, Faraday's family has um, some vacation homes. His grandpa built a village called Kunisleiden in Austria and so he's he's adventured around Austria a lot uh especially like all over the years that he's grew up like going there a lot with his family and then recently he's been feeling really called to Stubai and he keeps getting the synchronicity like crazy synchronicity spiritual things happening when he's in Stubai and it's really connected it's a lot more connected to Berlin than Kunisleiden his family's town that he has up there 
Um, and so he's like, next week when I go to Portugal from this festival, he's going to go to take the camper van and go to Stubai and just scope it out. And the idea is that we make that a, a base for us and it's easily connected to Berlin and we can host retreats there and like we can be in nature, you know, like we can live in an environment that feels nourishing for us and then always come back to Berlin for events and different connections that we want to do with our friends. I have a bunch of friends from all over the world that are coming in the beginning of August to Berlin and I'm super excited to hang out with them. Um, but, you know, for many years I was running co-working and co-living spaces because I thought this is it, you know, like I want to just live with my friends. I had a c- travel company for a while where we just did a country a month around the world, like 30 or 40 people. And it was so beautiful. I just didn't want to actually run the space. Like I didn't want to do the logistical things of like getting people their housing and making sure they had enough bed sheets and like all of those things like I am so excited for someone else to run that but what I love doing is hosting the people when they're there and uplifting them and helping them drop into their bodies and helping them wake up and and just being these like beacons of light of like how we can live in the world and so this is coming full circle I have we have friends very close friends and chosen family who are who are wanting to invest in something with us. And so we're going to go to Subai and like look at hotels, look at farmhouses that with lots of rooms. My vision is that keeps coming to me in meditations is this beautiful farmhouse that is on a lake surrounded by mountains and already has like some farming stuff going on so we can grow food and has lots of rooms where we can host people and just have them come hang out with us and like feel safe to fully wake up to the reality that we are all waking up to and feel safe to drop into their bodies and feel good to connect in community of like-minded souls and then also to put their hands in the dirt you know and grow some food together and and to jump in the lake and to go on hikes and I want to bring my dog Afro and the reason why I didn't bring her from Copenhagen is because I needed to come out here and like suss it out. Like I wanted to figure out a place that I felt safe so that I could bring her, you know, I didn't want her coming around with me while I was trying to figure out where we're going to live. Um, But now that we are getting more of a base here, I feel so excited. I talk about it all the time. I'm so excited to bring Afro. Like I wish she was here literally with me right now on this camping trip. Um, But it's happening. It's happening. (laughs) And this is also why Freddie and I are like, portals, portals are amazing. Because we had a portal. We could just bring Afro here from Copenhagen right now. Um, but yeah, so that's my vision. I, I, I'm like, I want to go outside and like have water. Like right now, like being here and having the stream and just being able to put my feet in the water. And like the other day I was like taking a bath in the stream and just, just being little nature babies, you know? And I'm like, this is how we're meant to live. Of course, it's nice to have infrastructure. Faraday's like, it's good to have good infrastructure and like a really nice grocery store with good access to fresh fruits and vegetables and good, nice vegan options. And I'm like, yes, all of those things, but also water (laughs) and also grass and trees and like forests and mountains. Um, He loves the mountains. So this is our, our vision. And I would love to have a base here in Europe and a base in Asia and Copenhagen because Faraday loves winter. He loves snowboarding and all that stuff. Um, I'm from California so I love it when it's warm and I love the sea I love anything water so the sea waterfalls so I would love to be in here in in Europe in the summers and then when it starts getting cold you know I can I'm happy to be uh, here for a couple weeks of the snow of the snowboarding season but then I I definitely want to go to Copenhagen and eat all the fruits and be in in the sea every day and go to waterfalls and hang out with my friends there and to just make these bases around the world I think in the past I was building a lot of these co-living spaces for other people and consulting and helping them build it out but it wasn't necessarily my vision because I hadn't figured out exactly who I was yet all the way and then you know therefore be able to attract in the people that would resonate with my core frequency but I feel like I'm there now you know I feel like I'm ready for that and I can see all the puzzle pieces falling into place very quickly and I feel a lot of you who are listening to this and who, you know, I help coach and 
and and follow me on Instagram, like the people that I have access to energetically, everyone's saying a lot of the same things of along the lines of like wanting to be more in community, wanting to be around people physically who are on a similar vibration and who are ready to and willing and have the energy to build this new earth with us. And this is so beautiful and I feel like it's so powerful when we come together, especially in physical person. Because of course I love online things, I think it's amazing. Um, but there's something that's just like really nourishing for me when I can like give someone a hug, you know, and we can like look each other in the eyes in person and like share energy with each other and like share a meal together. It's very primal and like so tribal and I love it. And I'm so excited for it. Like when I did ayahuasca a couple of years ago, what I saw, like I asked, like, what am I meant to do in the world? Like I have so much potential. I know I can do it. Like anything I can, I put my hands on, like it turns, it works out. But I just, there wasn't anything that I was super passionate about. And then what I saw on my ayahuasca trip, like mother, I, mama, grandma, ayahuasca was like, this is what's going to be the most nourishing for you. And it, what it was, was me making food with like all of these kids and people that I love and us just like, hanging out together and like sharing our energy together and what I when I witnessed that in my ayahuasca like you know I was had my eyes closed and I saw this vision of and I felt it in my body and I just started crying like really hard because I at that moment in time thought I needed to go out in the world and like be famous and make this big you know be this big thing like you know in the 3d world of of accomplishing things you know from a very masculine standpoint I was still in that energy and when I did ayahuasca I was like if so much of this feminine energy came in of like I really just want to like make food with the people I love and like share our energy together and like watch each other grow and support each other and you know cheer each other on um, and all of the different <laughs> beautiful things that are happening upgrades that are happening and I feel this is, yeah, this is where it's at. <laughs> because all of the stuff, like all the other things like fame, fortune, all those things happen when we're doing the thing we love. When, and then it's like a byproduct. It's not like, I feel like we have this programming in the world that the people who have the most followers on Instagram or the most reach are the ones who are really switched on, you know, and like those are the people we need to look up to. Those are our tribal leaders. But a lot of times they are more lost than <laughs> than us. <laughs> and they're just like happen to be famous. And they, and then they're just like, what do I do with this information? Or all this reach. And I'm like, this is what matters is like having your people around you. And it was such a beautiful switch for me when I did that ayahuasca journey in many ways. But that one of like, what matters to me is my community. And and really just dropping in together and having the support and like witnessing each other on our journeys. Um, so yeah, if you're feeling this shift as well, I really recommend, I've been sharing this a lot on my Insta stories recently, is I really recommend going into nature. Because if you can't figure out what your joy is right now, if you don't know what your highest excitement is right now, it might be because you're, ener you're energetically like clogged up with all the other people in your life and maybe whatever is going on in your like day-to-day -day life that you need to get done in 3d and in order for you to connect your higher self sometimes it's important to go into nature by yourself or with someone you really love and you feel good energetically with and just meditate and like connect to the trees and maybe take some <laughs> magic mushrooms and you know like really connect to your higher self and the spirit world because then we realize more and more that we are spiritual creatures we are these beautiful everlasting souls that are having a temporary physical experience and it's so beautiful and then we can really put everything into perspective and really understand that like the beingness of like wherever we are in that moment should feel all the way good in our bodies and this is like Ferdy and I talk about like all these big plans and visions that we have and and I just say to him I'm like I love all of these things and I also want to remind us that I just wanted to feel good in our bodies all the way through like whatever we're doing and it, it might take a little bit longer in the 3D and that's okay because every single moment is 
the now. Every single moment is ground zero of how do I feel right now in my body. And when we put emphasis on that and we put our awareness to that and we really make ourselves cozy in every moment in whatever way that means for us, then it, the rest of it can just happen. It just, the rest of it just flows naturally, you know? And I really realized this, like, when we come into nature, because now that we're in nature, I'm, like, so excited to go back to Berlin tomorrow and go to a friend's naked tea party at Sisyphus, which is, like, a club in Berlin that I love, and, and like, just so many amazing things that people are building and creating there. And then also, to ha- because my nature battery is full, and now I'm, like, my community battery. And I realized it's, like, this is why people are in cities, is because they want community, they want to build things, they want to connect with people. And right now it just happens to be in cities. But we can shift that. Like we are master creators of our own timelines. And I saw this a lot like after COVID where people, a lot more people were able to work remotely. And so they're like, I can live anywhere. Why don't I go here and like bring my friends? And Faraday and I are like definitely on that mission of like, let's find the new, the new let's, let's not find, let's make the new Berlin in our own way of community and connection and all these buzzy opportunities and things happening in a place that is deep in nature and connected to the earth and has beautiful, fresh, organic food that we can eat. <sighs> and as you like to say, good infrastructure. Because <laughs> um, that is one thing about Thailand is like, sometimes when you need to get things done in the 3D, the infrastructure is not there. We call it Thai style where it's just like, I don't know, they might come today and fix this. They might never come. <laughs> they just come up whenever they want to. Uh, but it's beautiful to also be in that flow. I've been really missing Copenhagen recently. So, yeah, lots of upgrades. And I shared something recently on my Instagram about the Schumann resonance, resonance field, which is basically the energetic field of the earth. Um, and I saw it like th- three different friends and three different ways shared with me in one day and I was like okay this is synchronicity is saying this is really important and I was sharing it and it was really resonating with a lot of people which is basically saying like the energy field of the earth has the highest frequency it's had ever um like and they call it the Schumann resonance because this Schumann guy is the one who (laughs) first saw recognized this um but what does that mean and that means that we are not these separate things from nature we are actually like antennas we are nature so whatever is happening to the earth whatever frequency upgrade it's going through we are also going through that sometimes even stronger because the earth has like a whole density field of like the entire earth to spread out this frequency and we're just these individual beacons of light that are just happen to be co-sharing this experience with earth so like we are nature and so whatever's happening with that is also happening with us. And it's really beautiful because when I shared this on Instagram, so many people reached out to me and they were like, this is exactly how I feel. I feel like just in the last couple of weeks, so much has been activated. My life feels like a movie, like five years of things have happened in one week to the point where I'm like having a hard time processing it. And I just tell everyone, go into nature, go into nature. Nature can absorb all of this frequency with you. It's going through the same updates as you and upgrades and when we allow nature to absorb some of this then we're co-creating this with it and we start to understand that we are so deeply connected to nature and this is why I don't understand how people can still eat animals (laughs) because it's like we are animals we are nature like we went into the store this morning I feel like in Berlin we're in a bubble because like people are a lot more vegan there but we went into the Lidl this morning in the Czech Republic. See, it's funny. I'm in the Czech Republic. It's like one more country on my list. But uh, we're here and we went to the grocery store and it's just like so many people are eating like animal products and tons of meat. And you can tell through their frequency and also their physical body because our physical body is just a representation of what frequency we're at uh, that they're not taking care of themselves and it's not it's not going well for them. And... um and I'm just so excited for more people to wake up and just like really make choices that are nourishing for their bodies and also nourishing for the earth and all the beautiful creatures on the earth and just understand that it's like the most logical thing we can do <laughs> is to be plant-based. That's its own tangent, but it's really interesting when you connect more to nature, you 
you start to naturally feel this because you're like nature is 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 like is speaking to us you know we are we are all all one and the more that we realize this the more that it's like beautiful <sighs> so that's my ramble ramble but yeah i just wanted to share a lot of this frequency with you because i just want you to know you're not alone we're all going through this together and it's beautiful and for some reason Faraday and I are out here on the front lines waking up dropping our bodies super fast and figuring out the next steps because I am super excited to have us all live together you know like in our own places but like in a community where we can connect to each other connect to the earth connect to our higher selves and it's just so beautiful. It's so, I want to play with everyone, you know? Uh, we were talking yesterday about how, you know, we love making play parties. Um, but he, Faraday came up with this really good thing. He's like, we should make a B party, like B-E, B party. And I was like, what do you mean? And he's like, you know, where people can just come and be. Like, yes, we'll have the same intro round as we do at the play parties. But like, it's not the focus where you have to be, you know, sexually with someone that day it can be like you just want to chill so maybe you just want to be naked maybe you just want to dance maybe you just like whatever you want to do in in the beingness you are allowed and accepted and I was like yeah I want to have a whole community where we're just always being like with my friends on Copanyang that's what we have like we're always hanging out and like maybe someone's making out maybe someone goes have sex but it's like we're all just vibing together and it feels so good because at every given moment we're doing exactly what we want to do you know and this is the kind of tribe that I, we're building and community and I love it and it makes me feel so good and yummy in my body. <sighs> yeah. I'm happy. I love being in nature. The only thing that would make this fully complete is if Afro were here, which is happening soon. It's happening now. It's happening. I'm making it happen. I'm grateful that she has amazing co-parents on the island that are taking care of her. Um. yeah so I invite you to get into nature I invite you to oh and something that I want to say so many people reach out and they say like I, you're helping me upgrade my life you're you know you're really helping me with like feeling not alone and and I invite you to share this podcast with with someone like with your friends and you don't even need to like say anything just share just like you would share your favorite song or something And I feel like the more that we spread this message, the more that we are all going to wake up and drop into our bodies and the more we're all going to be able to play with each other. So if this is vibing with you and you are loving these frequency updates and upgrades, share, share, share. That is the best thing that you can do. And if you're interested in any of my coaching that I'm doing, I was like really trying to figure out a way where I could do my, because I've done coaching for so many years in different ways. Um, I was figuring out how to do it like in a way that felt good in my body right now, like where lifestyle wise, where I'm at, frequency wise, where I'm at. And what I realized what really helps me is what I really enjoy and that that is really helping a lot of people is to do it one week at a time and they get a question every single day written that they can send me on WhatsApp and then I share within 24 hours a frequency upgrade through voice message where I answer their question, I give homework, I share my own life experience of what's helped me and just send some support and love, you know? And I've been getting such good feedback on this and I'm like, wow, I want to help more people. (laughs) This is awesome. And also I can do it in a way that feels good for me. So this is something you're interested in. You can always reach out to me on Instagram at Brittany Bond and we're going to do a play party in like flow state so many people are asking when's the next play party but we're I we have I'm going to Portugal for a week and then we have the flow state retreat uh, July 15th to the 22nd we're bringing like 16 people to Austria and having this new earth community for a week where we're all you know (laughs) like making food and going on hikes and and like everyone's co-creating and sharing their vibration of like meditation, breath work, yoga, and just lots of connecting. And Faraday and I will of course do a lot of different sharings of things that have helped us and sharing tools and different ways that we've been able to upgrade our, our frequency. So I'm super excited for that. We're definitely going to do a lot more. I think we might have one spot left. If anyone is interested to join us, you can reach out to Faraday or I. And then, yeah, 
we'll come back to Berlin and do a play party at the end of July or beginning of August, flow state. <laughs> and then, um, and of course, do more women's circles. I've been really enjoying doing women's circles and I probably will do a women's like one day or two day retreat soon in Berlin. And also plant medicine ceremonies. There's just so many amazing things that sometimes I forget to share about them because it's like I put them on my Instagram or I just share with my our community. Um, we have WhatsApp groups and different things. Um, so if you're ever interested to join any of these things, let me know. But most of the updates you can find on my Instagram. And there was a couple other things. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably do some some retreats in August and September. And yes, Dubai is the next thing we're checking out. We're going to go scope it out. I will let you know how that goes. Faraday and I will be very vocal on if it's working or flowing or not. And yeah, I think that's it for now. I just like, I'm sending you so much love. We're doing great. We're all doing great. And we're figuring it out together. And this is what's important is that we're together in it. Because when we're alone in it, it's always like, do I have a reality check? Like, am I going crazy? Or, you know, am I the only one who's like noticing this? It's like, no, you're not crazy. You're just sane in an insane world. And the more of us that can stick together, we can keep reminding each other of our powers and keep reminding each other that it's safe to drop in and connect and to be our real authentic selves. Because that is so beautiful in today's world to be your real self. And that's like such a game changer <laughs> because in a world of people who are so scared to be themselves, when you can be yourself and shine so bright and just enjoy everything and follow your joy then that is a beacon of light that are, is literally activating everyone around you whether they speak it verbally or not it's an energy frequency hmm. so sending you all lots of love and i hope you have an amazing day and i will be sharing more soon bye